Hi guys and welcome back to our FIFA 19 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. Now today, I'm going to do a bit of a bumper episode today. Um, I'm not too sure how you guys feel about it, but I am going to simulate a couple of games in this episode just to progress a bit more forward because I know the last couple of episodes uh, I've only really managed to have time to play two games, where today I have a little bit more time. So I am going to play uh, this game against Southampton, I'm going to simulate the game against Palace, play the game against Ajax, play the game against City, and then simulate this game against Leeds. And that is where we're going to end the episode, because then in the next episode, if you guys are okay with a bit more simulating as well, we'll only have the next episode before we go into the January transfer window. So we'll just push things forwards a bit more. I'm not really a big fan of simulating games, but... I just feel like it's going to drag and drag and drag if I can only sometimes get a couple of games into one episode and it's going to take absolutely forever to progress with this series. So, yeah, so that's the plan for today. So, I have checked uh, a few comments from the last episode as well. You guys seem to be quite happy with leaving suggestions for formations and stuff like that. And the one formation that was asked of me to try in the last episode was a flat 4-3-3, which I'm pretty sure we may have tried before, but I'll try it again today anyway. So we'll go into this game against Southampton away from home. So this is the team we're going to go with against Southampton. We have Cabrera in goal, Riveros, Twanzebe, Luyen Dama and Mbabu across the back. We have Sangari, Grujic and Mount in as the middle three with Carrasco on the left, Gooch on the right and Dennis up top. Let's get into it. And here we are at St. Mary's taking on Southampton. And as you can see again, we are the best defensive team in this league with City, United, Spurs and Chelsea also in there as well. Defensively, we have been excellent so far this season. And we have been scoring a lot more goals this season as well, thanks to the likes of Dennis. Will he be on form today? Here is Mount now, bombing forward, giving some support. Dennis just stood still, man. He's set to get him behind and he stood still. But now here is Mount now, hook it back away. He does find Carrasco. Here is Carrasco now, he does dink it in towards the back post. It has not been headed. I was going to say it has, but it's not, and it nearly finds Dennis on the edge. A couple of nearly moments at the beginning of this game. Half an hour in, and literally nothing has happened. Southampton have done quite well possession-wise, but they've just a couple of crosses that have gone a bit wayward. As for us, we haven't created anything, really, going forward. But now here is Carrasco. He tries to come inside, help him out. He does find Mount. He tries to hit it. It has been blocked, and that's probably the closest we've got all afternoon. Good football now from Southampton. I feel like Marseille this. The way they're just keeping hold of the ball. Last time, last episode, we played Marseille and they played really good possession football and ended up playing us off the park and we lost 2-0. Southampton are playing very similar here, just keeping hold of the ball. It's so hard to get it off them. The second we get near them, they just pass the ball on. So close to getting it off them, but we just can't manage to get a foot in. Harrison Reed to Hesketh. See this, you can just see that this is going to end up in an opportunity. It hasn't, luckily for us. And although we do have, what is that pass from Dennis? But although we do have three pretty much up top, there's a big gap in between the midfield and the final third, and it's definitely showing now. I don't think this formation is really going to favour us. There goes half-time whistle, and I think I might have changed the formation already because there's just, like I said, there's nothing between the midfield and the strikers. Uh, and just to get between those two, it's almost impossible. And with little old Dennis up top, it's just not really working for this game, so I might have to change it up a little bit. Right, I've changed it to a 4-4-1-1, just because that formation really wasn't working at all. We weren't making any kind of chances whatsoever. Hopefully the change in formation will uh, help us out a little bit here. Go on, help him out, help him out. Try to get Mountain, he does take a bit of a big touch there. Nearly wriggling through the middle of that Southampton defence. Help him out, Carrasco getting over the top, son. It is towards Carrasco, really decent angle and... What an effort that was, or it looked like it, probably the replay will change my mind, but it was a really tight angle, I thought I'd go for glory, I smashed it, not too sure how far away that was, probably miles away, yeah, it weren't a great effort, but that'll do, at least we're getting in behind, get it away, get it away, oh the referee's blown for a free kick, out wide, it's against Leon Darm, it definitely wasn't worthy of a booking, but they do have a free kick now, Southampton, Elianusi to take this one on the left hand side he dinked it in it's not a great it's a balls but he somehow get ahead on it straight for Cabrera though go on it is Carrasco now coming forward he doesn't have much support he does get it towards the back post can he get there he can yes it's in and it's Gooch on the counter attack straight from that 
Southampton free kick pretty much and that is a beautiful beautiful volley get in it's making it a habit of late Gooch arriving at the back post late to volley them home it's a beautiful volley as well struck nicely across goal what a counter attack that was get in go on Gooch chase it lad you're absolutely rapid son you're absolutely rapid go inside that's it Gooch Keep going, son. Keep going, son. Get it in. Towards the back post. It is Carrasco. He strikes that cross goal. It's a good save. There we go. Come on, lads. Let's make it two. Oh, no. Off the ball. I think Leon Dome might get sent off here. He is. Oh, it's a late challenge. It weren't awful, but he stuck a foot out. Off the ball as a player was going past him. And he's been booked. Oh, that was... Pretty bad, I suppose. Shit. Right, okay. Back against the wall. Ten minutes left. We're going to have to defend. We're going to have to bring Upper Meccano on and go to a 4-4-1. Now that we're down to ten men. We're going to have to defend for our lives this final few moments of this game. Has been headed. Get it away. Please, lads. Don't mess this up now. Get it out. It has been hit. And immediately, of course, they've scored. Absolutely pathetic defending. Just when you want to clear it away, they simply pass it. To a Southampton player. And they then go forward and score. Oh, just bullshit. Dinked in. You just want him to smash it away. And Upper Meccano just simply places it straight into the path of the Southampton player. And eventually the kids Carrillo who manages to drill it past Cabrera in goal. One all. This is not good. Corner for Southampton now. Bang on. 90 minutes, pretty much. It is Elianusi to take it. He has put it in. It's a decent ball. It's still in the box. Please just get it away, lads. Please get it away. It has fell. Oh, thank God. And Cabrera manages to tip it over the bar. Three minutes added on. This should be the last chance of the game. Just hold on to it, lads. I'll take a point now. I'll take a point, please. It has been put into the near post again. Get it away. Back to Elianusi. Get into him, please, lads. Please. Please just block the shot. Block the shot. Push him out, push him out, push him out. Here's Romeu now. Back out wide for Cedric. He gets it across goal. Get it away. It's been blocked again. I think it is an offside shot. It is. The final whistle will go now any minute, surely. Come on, just blow the whistle, ref. And there it goes, finally. I mean, really, really disappointing that we managed to get a red card, which I think might be the first red card we've got in this entire series because we're not really a, a dirty kind of team, but... We have picked up a red card, it has cost us, it's only a point at St Mary's today. But luckily for us, it looks as though United dropped points, yes they did, they drew against Wolves, so we are still four points ahead of United at the top of the table, but Chelsea closing in now as well, uh, with it on the same points as Manchester United in second. But next up, we are going to be simulating this game against Crystal Palace, and I have rejigged the team quite a lot just to put in a lot of players that haven't had much game time, so this could probably bite us in the arse. But we're going to be simulating this game nevertheless. And we draw nil-nil, which isn't the worst of results, I suppose, considering simulating can throw up some real nightmares, particularly with injuries and stuff. But now we are going to be going into this game against Ajax in the Champions League, the more exciting of the games. Hopefully Dortmund, or even, I suppose, regardless of the result between Dortmund and Marseille, if we get a win, we will be jumping into that top two uh, of this group table. But it is really, really exciting now, this Champions League. It's really hotting up. Unfortunately for Ajax, they just can't seem to get a point on the board and hopefully we'll be able to put more misery on Ajax in this game. So this is the team that we're going to go with against Ajax. We have Cabrera in goal, Zinchenko, Leon Dama who returns from suspension. We have Upper Meccano and Mbappé across the back. Hendo at the bottom of this wide diamond. Carrasco on the left, Davies on the right, Gomez as they can with Abraham partnering up top with Martinez. Let's get into it. Here we are at the Johan Cruyff Arena. Lovely, lovely ground for a Champions League night and a really, really important one for us. An absolute must win in this group stage. Hopefully we pick up points in this one. We desperately, desperately need to. And hopefully having the two up top will give us the edge, attacking-wise. Go on, Martinez. It is Martinez straight away. Martinez! It's in! Immediately! Less than two minutes in and it's Martinez who's been out with the squad for the last couple of games. Absolutely fires us into the lead. Get in! It was Abraham who picked it up in the middle. Martinez with a step over or two, couple of touches and bang! Pinpoint accuracy into that bottom corner. And no wonder Ajax are bottom of this group because that was an absolutely horrendous start from them. Get in. 
Get it away, get it away, get it away. Well in. Send Abraham. Go on, son, get your touch in first. He does, it's still Abraham. Oh, that's a bad challenge, surely. What's the ref going to give here? It's Mamadou Sacco for Ajax, who could be in trouble. Should be at least a booking, I would say. What's he going to give? What's he going to give? I think it might just be a talking to here. It's a yellow card. Bad challenge on Abraham, who was bursting through a pace. We never really get free kicks, to be honest with you. I can't remember the last time we got a free kick in a half-decent position. I'll put Yannick Carrasco on it. I can't remember the last time I took a free kick. But it is Carrasco to take. He does hit it, and it hits the post. Oh, that was so close. I think it's probably the third free kick I've taken on this FIFA. Because we never seem to get free kicks in and around the box. Now there's one over the top for Davies to chase. And he'll always win that race, Will Davies. Does get it in towards Martinez again. It's a great save at the near post. Davies on the burners. Out wide there. All you need to do is a chip through ball over the top for Davies. And he gets to absolutely everything. But we do have a corner. It's a Carrasco corner. Does whip it in towards Martinez. He's not quite big enough to compete with the height of this Ajax defence. They do have some really big, lanky players at the back. This crossing maybe isn't really the way we should be going down. But there is the... Half-time whistle and a much, much improved performance. Much preferred uh, formation, really, I suppose. And it's a Martinez goal that keeps us in the lead early on. Go on, Martinez. It's a bad touch by the Ajax defender. Still Martinez. Referee, I thought he was shoved to the ground there, but maybe Martinez was just a little bit too weak. Wellings in Chenko dispossessing. The right back is coming forward though now. Tries to get his man in. He does try to get it to the near post. And it's been punched away by Muslera. And they give it away again. It's Hendo this time. Martinez turn. Tries to dig one out. And it's gone just over the bar. I tell you what. Ajax. Last few minutes. They're just constantly giving the ball away. Completely different to what we've been used to recently. So we had Southampton and Marseille. Really possession based teams. Where we just couldn't get anywhere near them. Ajax are just giving the ball away for fun. But they do look. Very dangerous on the counter-attack. Oh, no, they are breaking now. It's De Jong. Couple of plays in support for them. It's Tadic. It's a great save by Cabrera. Hook it away. And, and Barbu. Get it away, get it away, get it away. It has been headed. And it's a save by Cabrera this time. Starting to wake up a bit now, Ajax. That's lovely football there from Davies now. It is Mbabu. He tries to get in towards the back post. It's been punched by Muslera. Just under 10 minutes left now. Can we see this one out? Because Ajax is starting to improve greatly. They have put one over the top for Labia to chase. Mbabu trying to catch up with him. Go on Mbabu. Oh, it's a foul. What is it with us today committing fouls? Is it going to be a booking as well, potentially? No, it's not. But it is Labiad. Who usually has a decent set piece in him. He does dink it in. Get it away and Barbu has been headed on. And Cabrera gathers. Just time waste now. Because like I say. Ajax seem a different beast in the second half. One minute added on. I think. Sorry. Two minutes added on. Blow the whistle. Please. Please do not score now. It will break my heart. Great charge Davies. Oh no. But they are coming forward now with Boateng. Come on. Get into him. They have crossed it in. It has been headed away by Leon Dahmer. Boateng again. Come ref. Blow the whistle. He's blown it. 1-0. And that should see us get back into the top two spots of this group. Jesus Christ. That game was exhausting. And this is how our Champions League group looks after that game. So if we manage to get at least a draw against Dortmund in the next episode, then we will be through to the knockout stages. But Marseille are taking on Ajax. And I would presume that Marseille will win that game. So we need at least a point against Dortmund in that one, which can be a really, really tough ask as we do welcome them to the stage of light. But next up, we are going back to the Premier League. As we can see there, we are still, or we are now two points ahead of Manchester United and Chelsea uh, at the top of the Premier League. But we are going to be taking on City, who are fourth. So again, it's a sort of early top of the table clash near enough. And this is the team we are going to be using. We have Cabrera in goal, Riveros, Twanzabi, Upper Meccano and Mbabu. As the defenders, we have Carrasco, Grujic, McTominay and Davies in midfield with Dennis and Martinez up top. Let's get into it. And here we are at the Etihad as Captain Twanzaby leads us out. Kevin De Bruyne leading out Manchester City. This will be a really, really tough game, I will presume, as you can see. And as we have just mentioned, we are only three points ahead of Manchester City in the league. With a win for City and if results go elsewhere, they could potentially leapfrog us with a 
result for them today. I'm just hoping it doesn't come to that and we manage to get ourselves a result. It's not going to be easy. That's it. It is Davies now with the burners. Here he comes. You don't want Davies coming at you like this. It is Davies. Oh, and he smashed it wide. It looked like it may have taken a slight deflection or even a save from the keeper. He's absolutely smashed that one. It did. I think it did. It's come off Gerald PK who's playing at the back for City today. Former United and Barcelona player. Carrasco with the corner. Whips it in. It's a poor one, really. I think he might go back to taking our short corners because they're not really working at the minute. Our Carrasco specials. But now where's McTominay? Gets in towards Dennis. He tries to dig it out, but PK's there first. Very good defender. Ball over the top for Carrasco to chase, and he will get there. Of course he will. It is Carrasco now. Gets it in towards McTominay, and it has been headed away. Here is Grujic now. And it has been nicked off him. City, the pressure they put us under off the ball is absolutely insane. It's just constant pressure. I'm pretty sure that's a tactic, but we have lost the ball now, and it's Gabriel Jesus bombing down this left-hand side, gets it to the byline, get it away, it is Sonny, and it's a goal. Really, really poor, sloppy defending, giving the ball away, and it's Leroy Sane who manages to bag it for City. Like I said, they were just putting us under so much pressure. We just can't mess around with it at the back. Normally, we like to keep it calm and composed, play it out from the back, and I don't think we're going to be able to do that in this game. What on earth is Cabrera doing there, to be fair? But still, we're a goal down. We've got David Alaba as well, City here. They've got a very, very strong squad, as expected. Oh, get at them, get at them. Out wide, that's it, is Carrasco now. Still Carrasco, take a shot yourself, son. Oh, maybe I should have passed it. Probably should, but there was a lot of bodies in there for City. I just didn't think it had make it to one of our players but now they are counter attacking with speed it is Sterling now just get it in towards Sane get it away try and get it away we're really messing it up at the back here at the minute get across we'll get across to him this is poor it has took a wicked deflection it's gone wide for a corner Sterling again is going to try and walk it into the box no he's not he's headed out for Garcia on the edge get it away can we counter we can't because we lose it again come on go on Davies go on Davies out wide that's it. Carrasco. Go on, son. Go on, son. Get him. Get him. Help him out. Knock it on again and again. Knock it on. It is Davies. It's the first time. It's in. It's 1-1. It's brilliantly worked. It's a counter-attack after counter-attack after counter-attack for both sides. And it falls for Davies, who absolutely buries it. Get in. Carrasco. Onto Dennis. Onto Martinez. He flicks it on before Alba can get there. Davies. First time finish. Smashes it rifles it and gets his second goal in the Premier League this season. Come on. Go on. Help him out. Davies over the top now. It is Davies. He is on side. Flick it back. Back into the box. Towards Dennis at the back post. And it's been headed away. He was offside anyway. Half time whistle should go any second now, I would presume. Come on. And it is. It has gone half time. What an absolutely breathtaking game. Both teams putting pressure on each other. We're putting constant pressure in terms of uh, when the opposition are on the ball. We're getting right in the faces. They're doing the same with us. And it's just leading to counter attack after counter attack for both sides. Really good game. It's one all. Help him out. Straight away it is Dennis. Can he finish it off? Surely. Dennis, it's in. Straight away in the second half. We've just carved them open. Straight down the middle. And it's Dennis, of course. It's Dennis. Who else? Who absolutely buries it. Straight down the middle. Look at the overlapping run by Dennis. Lovely stuff. No one can catch up. Beautiful finish as well. 2 1. The absolutely perfect start to the second half. Get in, lads. Oh no, it is Sane though now. Get into him, get into him, get into him. Hold him up, hold him up. Not good enough here. Oh, and then Babu slips there. Get it away, get it away. It's a good chance and it's a... What? Oh, how on earth is that a penalty? There was no penalty there at all. And there's a red card. What the hell is going on today? What a load of absolute bullshit. Where's the foul? He was already on the floor. De Bruyne has slid in to get to the shot. That is absolute shit. And then Upper Up McConnell was also already on the floor. They've both collided whilst on the floor and he's got a red card for it. 
Oh, God. You have to bring in a sub and just play 4 4 1 for the rest. Of I can't believe that. We don't have any red cards in the entire series, and now two red cards in one episode. This is ridiculous. And now it is Gabriel Jesus. And he smashed it pretty much straight down the middle, slightly to the right hand side of the goal. And we've been absolutely done over there, lads. Not a chance in hell that was a foul. De Bruyne beat up McConnell to the ball to get the shot in. They were both on the floor. They are both slid into each other. And the refs give a penalty. Absolutely game ruined. After what was such a good game as well. Now, what do we do? Do we attack? Do we try and defend this lead? Sorry, this draw. This point. Here is Marco Grujic. Carrasco on the edge. Tried to bend one out. He does and it's a cracking save. Maybe we should go for it. What a save that was from Edison. We've managed to dig one out on the edge of the box. Straight through the legs of the defender. And it's a brilliant save from Edison. It has to be said. Played short now for Davies. Got it in towards the back post. Can he get this in? He can. Oh, and it's over the bar. By Captain Twanzerby. What a chance that was. Ten men. We're still managing to create some decent chances here. City have just brought on Hummels and brought off PK. So two excellent, excellent defenders have got within their ranks. But now here are City again. It's Gabriel Jesus. Get it away. Get it away. Come on. Hammers Rodriguez as well. On for City now. The quality in their squad is just undeniable. Now here is Jesus. Back to Hammers Rodriguez. Sure that is offside ref. It's not been given. It's pulled back. Get it away. Get it away. Well in. Pass the ball. Pass the ball. Pass the ball. He's given it to the wrong man. Dennis would have been through. But now here is Davies. Come on, please help him out. Help him out. He tried to pull it back for McTominay. He does strike it himself and it's gone. Why? Ten minutes left. And if anything, I think we've probably played a little bit better now. We've got ten men, strangely enough. Surely, ref, just blow the whistle. I'm not having this. Blow the whistle, ref, please. Alaba bombing forward now. Now this is the final chance of the game. And Barbu, that's your son. Get it away. Blow the whistle. Come on, ref. It's way past 96th minute here. Jesus Christ. But the whistle does go. And I'm really, really frustrated with that, guys. I really am. It was never a penalty in the first place. It was never a sending off. And it's kind of spoiled this game. It really has. But I suppose the one positive is we've basically spent the majority of the second half with 10 men. And we've managed to hold on to a, a point at the Etihad. Which isn't the easiest thing in the world anyway. So, I'll take it. And that result sees us three points Ahead of Manchester United with 26 points. I wonder how they did in their last game then. I think they may have lost according to their stats. I think they must have lost the last game in fact. Yeah they have. And of course we did draw with City. So that holds them back a little bit as well. But now we are going to be simulating this game against Leeds. Coming up just to round off the episode. Again I am using a few players that we don't usually use too often. To get them some game time. Will it bite us in the arse? It will. We've lost 2-0. Fantastic, and Jones has picked himself up a bit of a knock as well. <laughs> but you know, that's what happens with simulating, I suppose. And we do want to move forward, as I did mention at the beginning of the episode. And now, this is how the Premier League does look at the end of the episode. United are currently top, level on points with us. It has made things a bit more interesting, I suppose, throwing in a couple of simulated games. We are second, Chelsea in third, City in fourth, with Newcastle just outside of that top four. A uh, little zone there with Southampton, West Ham and Stoke City making up the relegation places. So that is the episode, guys. I know it's a bit of, been a bit of a different one with simulated games and stuff like that. But if you have enjoyed, do let me know and please hit the like button for me. It would be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jammy.